My name is David Bull, and for the 35-year history of The Magic Company, I had the great uh, privilege to play the role of Le Grand David, which was one of the generations of magicians in our large company. Way back when, back in the mid-70s, we were looking for a place to put on our show. E.M. Lowe, who ran this as one of the last cinema theaters in his theater chain was willing to sell. So I walked in with the original group in August of 1976 and immediately started showing movies. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, we were re rehabilitating the stage. We started to sew costumes, build props, uh, curtains, paint curtains. And February 20th, 1977, we put on our very first show, our very first performance of Le Grand David and his own spectacular magic company. So the gentleman who was the company's creator, lifetime director, Cesario Pelias, and who played the role of Marco the Magi, came from Cuba, where theater was all over the island. And his conception for the magic company was that stage magic could be presented on the same level as opera, ballet, serious drama. It could be raised to that level, and that's what he was aiming for. So what he was looking for, and what we luckily found here at the Cabot, was this beautiful space. People would walk in and go, oh my gosh, where, where am I? But on stage, I can remember countless times thinking, my God, I'm, I'm standing on this beautiful stage performing before this audience. I think it raised both the audience up, but we as performers, I think it brought our game up as well. For me, it became home. I fell in love with Beverly. My name is Katie Bull. I grew up in Beverly. I was involved from the beginning, and I happened to be involved in a putting on a magic show, which seemed like the craziest thing I ever heard of when I first started. But knowing that it has enriched this community is gratifying to me. I am deeply rooted in Beverly. I didn't realize how special it was until I got to travel to other places, and I realized how special Beverly was. After raising my children here, being able to live here near the ocean, which makes it one of the happiest places I could be. I am enriched by my sense of place here in Beverly. I love the history, I love the beauty of it, and I love the community. My name's Rick Heath. My relationship with the Cabot Theater and the Le Grand David Magic Company began on the day that it opened. Of course, I lived right across the street. So my relationship to the theater was 24-7. If the fire alarms went off at 2 in the morning because of a storm and the roof was leaking, I was up on the roof. There was never not a relationship. I mean, I'd look out the door. There was, <laughs> there's the theater. We had taken the ownership August 11th, 1976. A couple days later, there might have been 10 or 12 of us scraping plaster to redo the wall. Cesario came up behind me. And he said, what are you doing here? I thought, maybe I've done something wrong. I didn't know. He said, go downstairs, work with Bill. You're an artist. Wow, out of the blue. So I did. I fell in love with magic, especially the building and painting side. That was the part I really liked. The magic company couldn't have existed, so to speak, without the theater. The theater couldn't have existed without the magic company. It was like a hand and glove relationship. Everybody needs a home, every person that's sort of like the protective envelope so it can function. So we had the stage. The Magic Company was central to everything we did. The relationships on stage were for real. The smiles were for real. These were my friends. It wasn't just a cast. These were my friends. They still are. My name is Anton James Andreessen, and I am the official magician of Salem, Massachusetts. Back in 2017, I was recognized by the city and the state for creating magical memories for the citizens of Salem. In the very beginning for me, the only exposure that I had to this art form were close-up magic tricks that my dad would perform for me. 
my 13th birthday, they brought me here to see the show. And 20 years later, I can still remember exactly how the show began. There was a golden gong on stage that was struck and the curtain rolled up and the most incredible cast of characters that I had ever seen came out on stage. And the audience there knew without a doubt that this was Le Grand David and his own spectacular magic company. We as a community, I think we're incredibly lucky to be able to have something like that here in this city for as long as we did. And still to this day, when I pass by this building and I see the murals on the wall, it gives me that same sense of joy that I felt as a child. And for me, the magic lives on. When a group in the community stepped up and figured out a way to buy it and carry it into the future in a way that we were unable to do, I am really grateful for that. I love coming here and seeing the seats full and people laughing and happy. That is a joy for me and I am so grateful to the people who have gotten behind it and done it. I know what I put into every inch of this place and I know what everyone else who was part of the Magic Company put into it. And that's important to me to share that with you. I think what they're doing by returning the Cabot to its original condition is just wonderful. And the first time I came in here and saw it, it looked like it had been here forever improvements, restorations, or whatever, if they look like they've always been there, that's a good thing. If nobody would ever know that they hadn't been there, they're doing what needs to be done to keep the place alive. So, good things happening.